looking for a solar pump for your well, one of the first things you're going to need to know is the static water level of your well. That is the distance the water is from the surface. There's five different methods today that we're going to show you how to measure the static water level. One is visually, second is timing how long it takes a small pebble to hit the water surface. The third is using fishing line and a weight, in this case we're using a water bottle. The fourth method is using a long tape measure. And finally, the fifth is using a professional static water level tester. This is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps, and I'm gonna give you an overview of those five different methods today. Let's start off with the visual method. So basically, we just look down the well and see if we can see water. If you can see water, usually the water is less than 50 feet of static water level. In this case, looking at it, I would guess it's anywhere from 25 to 30 feet. Usually that's close enough to get you to size a pump. But if you have a deeper well and your water is further down, you're going to need to use one of the other four methods. The second method is using a small pebble and the stopwatch feature on a smartphone. Now, a bit of warning about this, you don't want to do this very often, so it's not always great to drop stuff in your well, but one pebble is not going to hurt anything. Also, if you already have a well pump in there, it's probably best to use one of the other methods because you don't want any debris to jam that pump in place. But since we have an empty well, I'll quickly show you how to do the pebble method in order to get your static water level. So we're going to drop the pebble down and we're going to start our stopwatch and listen for how long it takes to hear that pebble hit the water and then stop our stopwatch. That's going to give us the time it took for the pebble to hit the water and with the basic math we can get the static water level. So I've got the stopwatch pulled up. I'm going to drop the pebble and at the same time start the stopwatch and listen for the sound of the pebble hitting the water. So that was about 1.4 seconds. In using the formula in the comments in the description below, you can use that in order to get your static wire level. This is going to be one of your less accurate methods, but if that's all you have is a smartphone and a pebble, it's going to get you within plus minus of 10 to 20 feet for your static water level, which usually is enough in order to size your pump. In this case, it was 1.4 seconds. That's going to give us around 30 to 35 feet of static water level. I don't think the water is quite that deep. I might have pushed the button a little late, but we'll see with these other methods how close that was. The third method is using some fishing line and I like to use a water bottle, but in a pinch, something like a washer or something else will work in order to drop it down the well and feel when we hit the water level. Put a small hole in it. Feed the fishing line through, and using a small stick, we'll be able to tie it off and get it in the water bottle. Our water bottle is half full. So as we lower this down, we're going to hit the water and the water bottle is going to start to float and so it's going to be very easy to feel when we've hit the water level. We'll pull it up and measure how long the string is. Another bit of warning, anytime we're putting anything down the well, we want to be very careful that we don't drop it and it's tied off. If you drop something down your well, it's a possibility that when you drop your pump, it's going to get lodged with whatever you dropped in there and you're not going to be able to lower your pump. So anytime we're putting anything down the well, we want to be very careful and make sure it does not fall into the well. So let's go ahead, lower this down. Okay, there we go. We just hit the water level. We can feel it and we can hear it hitting the water. So we know right about there is our static water level. Now I'm going to pull this out, I'm going to mark the spot where the water bottle comes to the surface. And using a tape measure, we're going to measure how far it is over to our mark. And there we go, we have about 25 feet. If you're dealing with a deeper well, number one, if you have a fishing pole, it makes it much easier to lower and quickly retrieve your water bottle. And if you're looking at far distances, it might be easier to pace and figure out exactly how deep your well is. 
if you think you're going to be measuring a well more than once, it might be worth it to invest or maybe you already have a long tape measure. Uh, these are available at the hardware store anywhere from 20 to 35 bucks. In this case, you want to use a weight so you're able to feel when you hit the water. We used an eye bolt and a large washer. This makes it really easy. When we hit the water surface, the washer slaps the water and we can easily hear exactly when we hit the water surface. The other nice thing about a weight is if you don't know the total depth of your well, usually you can lower this to the bottom and feel when that weight hits the bottom. So in that case, you can get both the static water level and the total depth of your well. So let's go ahead and use this method to measure the depth of our well. we just hit it I can hear that we are slapping the surface of the water right about there so based on this tape measure we're looking at about 25 and a half feet so let's go ahead we'll lower it down we'll see if we can get the total depth of this well And right there, I can feel we've hit the bottom. So total depth is uh, 64 feet of this well. This one's a 330 foot long tape measure. So it's great for working with any well, static water level up to 330 feet. If you want total depth, then a total well depth up to 333 feet. If you want to spend a couple of dollars, it's a great investment if you're going to be measuring well more than once. The fifth method is using a professional well measuring device. This device has an electrode on the end and wires that run down the cable and it sends a very small electrical current and it's able to detect and beep when it touches water. The downside is these are rather expensive, so if you're not doing this professionally or you don't have a lot of wells, it's usually not worth investing in one of these devices. But the best thing is, number one, this will measure up to a thousand foot depth for your well and it's motorized. So if you have a really deep well, it's very nice just to use the motor to lower it down and raise it up to take your measurements. Let's check out how this is gonna work. Keep lowering it down and it'll be very clear when it starts to beep. So right there we can hear is exactly where our static wire level is. And that is 25 uh, and eight inches. I'm gonna turn off the beeper. And we can lower this down the rest of the way to get our total depth. So I can feel our line uh, went slack. This one's not as heavy, so it's a little bit more difficult in order to detect exactly where we've hit the bottom. But it feels like right about there, which is 65 feet, which matches up pretty close to our tape measure here. The great thing about this unit, we can put it in reverse, and if you have a really deep well, we can quickly retrieve the line. This is especially helpful if you're measuring something 600 feet.
methods in order to measure the static water level of your well. One, visually. Two, timing how long it takes a small pebble to reach the bottom. Number three, using fishing line and a weight, a long tape measure. Or if you like, a professional water level measuring device. This is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. If you need a solar pump, give us a call at 888-637-4493 or visit us at rpssolarpumps.com. The first step we're gonna ask you is what's the static water level of your well? But you already know how to do that. So if you come with that information, we'll be able to size a pump for you and get one in your hands in only a matter of days.